um, been getting a lot of comments on um, the fact that I, I might have lost a bit of weight. People think uh, I might be sick or I'm not taking care of myself. The exact opposite is true. Uh, I ate some fucking vegetables. I don't know. You know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but that doesn't give everybody the right to spew their opinion out of their mouth every chance they get. Hi, my name is Matt, and I think sometimes people just need to mind their own business. Uh, I was in line recently at McDonald's, um, cause my life is going so well, and I happened to overhear the guy at the cash register next to me begin his conversation with the cashier like this. What's with your weight problem? Not, not, not like he had been waiting for a long time, we had been waiting the same amount of time. No, he, he meant, what's with your weight problem? Uh, because, because she was bigger than he was. What's with your weight problem? I'd like a refill on my coffee. Even if you had been waiting for a long time, uh, that's not a joke. That's not how jokes work. Does telling somebody you think they look like shit really sound as whimsical as you thought it did? Why would you want to hurt the person who's gonna bring you food? That, that's so nice of her, to, to supply you with the exact thing that you asked for. And then you gotta try and insult her like that. I mean, she still brought the guy his coffee even though he said that terrible thing to her. We're all in this McDonald's together. Uh, nobody's better than any one person. Eating the food isn't any more or less shameful than actually cooking it. So, unless somebody is bleeding directly onto you, you really have no right to tell somebody how to look or act. Uh, uh, appearance is like 8% of who somebody is, and the shit going on outside of their body shouldn't affect you in any way other than having to look at it. And really, you don't even have to do that. The things that you think should have no effect on anybody else, because whatever you feel looks good is just for you. Everybody's different. It's like telling the people at Starbucks that you don't like when your coffee is so hot. They're not going to start making every cup of coffee less hot because you said something. You're going to get the same cup of coffee that everybody else gets, and that's the way it should be. So instead of focusing your efforts on telling people that the way you look isn't up to your standards, here are a few things that you could probably focus your effort into that will be more beneficial to you. Uh, minding your own business. You could, you could try getting a, a hobby, like maybe arts and crafts. I've heard some great things about glitter and glue when you, when you bring those together on paper. Um, shutting your mouth. Uh, whenever you have an insulting thought to share, uh, you could shut, shut your mouth is a great one. Buy, uh, buy a house and uh, fix it up and flip it for a profit. Uh, but also, uh, keep shutting your mouth. Fishing uh, would be a great sport for you to try, uh, because when you're fishing, you gotta shut your mouth. It's, it's a quiet man's sport. The, you, you could join a club, uh, g get, a, get a, a degree in something, um, get a second job and earn some extra money. All of these things and more. But um, def definitely try shutting your mouth. It, it's, uh, it's quite the thing. Anyway, hey, my name is Matt, and uh, I make videos every Tuesday, Friday, and also Sunday. The, I got a podcast that comes out every Wednesday, and uh, hey, guess what? kind of digging the beard, so I'm going to keep it around for a bit, see what happens. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys on Friday.